Okay, we have got a new game here called Detective Club. So let's check it out. So let's uh, open it up. It looks like it's a, uh, oh, I call it a party game. Get game of hidden clues and subtle conspiracing. Conspiracies, excuse me, by Blue Orange Games. It plays four to eight players. And let's check it out. Heard about this game for a while, but I've been wanting to, to get it. See what it's all about. Okay, inside, um, looks like the rules are a nice small sheet here. And we've got a board with some punch tokens that have unpunched themselves in transit a little bit. <laughs> we've got uh, some boards, player, looks like boards to put things out. More of these things with the punch boards. And we've got our keys. Let's get the rest of the tokens out of there. And it looks like we have, oh, I know what these are. These are, these are pads for writing down uh, the work. And these are keys. Let's check these out first. No, no, they're not keys. They're like uh, magnifying glasses. Oh, I like these, they feel so cool. I don't know if you can see those. There, let the camera focus. There we go. Nice. Okay. And let's look at the cards that we got in this bad boy. I imagine they're like uh, Dixit style or something. Ooh, they're nice and big cards. Oh, they're pretty. Look at this. The art on here is amazing. Very vivid. Woo! Oh, I like this. Oh, these are great. Okay, so there's that. And I think in the rule book, it probably shows how everything's set up. Yeah, nice, good pictures. This is what I like to see in a rule book. Pictures that show how everything's laid out. Like here's a, a sample of how to lay out a game for I don't know. Illustrated rule books are great. Well, this is great. It looks like it comes with a nice insert uh, to hold everything. Uh, the cards go back in here. I'll look forward to punching all these tokens. And there you have it for Detective Club. Four to eight players. I'm in. Let's do this.